Have you ever gotten up, got, walked over to your computer to play your favorite game, and this happened? This computer is a capable computer that pretty much anyone can rely on. It's expensive, don't get me wrong, with its $2,000 price tag, and that's only starting. But I think it's time we go through some of the benchmarks and see how this computer actually performs. The first thing I'm going to do is we're going to run a CPU benchmark Geekbench 5. Now on the right you can see we have both fans and we can see the temperature of everything is sitting at about 60 degrees. So let's see if we can change that. This is set to Apple Silicon, which is obviously this is Apple M2 Pro chip. 16 gigs of RAM, this is the base model and this, everything other than storage. I do have one terabyte of storage just to store these videos on. Well, let's run this benchmark. It's loaded. Okay. Basically, the fans are at zero. The fans are, I can definitely say, are definitely at zero. And yep, I was correct. I don't hear anything. Um, because this orange number is basically what the fan speed's at. Zero RPM. Can go anywhere from 2317 RPM to 1600 RPM. As you can see, our it's a little warmer not that much though and we got a pretty good score they haven't added this to the database yet but we got a 1918 single core and 11 456 multi-core that's also worth saying that i have a couple things open right now i have finder which is open automatically you can't really put that uh chrome which sucks data instagram um messages mail and obviously Geekbench, and then also CapCut for editing, even though I will be switching over to DaVinci Resolve soon, so stay tuned for that video and subscribe. Basically, yeah, this is a very high score. For, yep, this is all correct, but this is really good. Single core, multi core. This is actually everything. It's pretty good at a lot of things. I don't even know what a lot of the stuff is. Um, But I will say one thing that Apple is really good at is video and stuff, because their video encoding and decoding parts of the chip are very powerful. Those work really, really well. So you can see they're all really good. Apparently, they're really good at ray tracing. Because the ray tracing seems to do pretty high. So image, in, in painting, HDR, and ray tracing. HDR is video stuff, so that's probably why that's doing so good. And I don't even know what that is. So comment down below if you know what that is. Because I'm just stupid. Um, but now I think it's... Let's see the difference. So, I will put up on screen what, mm, let's say 2017 MacBook Pro, like five years old, five or six years old, would be getting. And actually, let's try something new. So, I'm going to close out of this, but instead, you will hear the fans. So, I'm going to max the fans out so that we s the max fans. And let's see what we get on this. Done. Um, I'm going to turn down the fans because they are annoying right now. So, get the fan up and then set it back to auto, and I'm assuming it just turns off immediately. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Um, and it's at zero. <laughs> doesn't even need anything. And, unsurprisingly, that didn't even boost our score much. We were at 1918 before, and now we're at 1927. So, not a big boost. Um, I don't see many big things other than that went up, I feel like. I feel like that went up a lot. Um, yeah, basically, uh, rigid body physics, I'm pretty sure, went up. I might just be stupid, but yeah, that didn't actually boost our speed that much. Which, I guess, is good, because if you're getting the same thing with no fans as with fans, that means that the, you don't need the fans much. Like, I have not heard the fans at all, other than when I've manually set them to go full blast. So, what we're gonna try now is we're gonna see what the GPU's like. So let me load up the GPU benchmarks. Now that we are at the G Geekbench Compute, I will be doing a Cinebench run, but for now I think I'm just gonna do Geekbench Compute and see what happens with that. I am not gonna max out the fans for this because for the sake of this video being under five million years after I edit it and me not spending 20 years editing, let's just not do that. So I will keep this max fan control up so you can see what the fan speed is, but let's run the benchmark. That's pretty good. That's a really high score. Um, yeah, 
Uh, let's see what it was really good at. Seems to be really good at particle physics. Don't know what that is, but I'm sure it's important about something. Pretty good at depth of field too, stereo matching, and so on. So yeah, that's what Geekbench Compute gave us. Now let's switch over to Cinebench. So now we have Cinebench R23 loaded up. I did have to rethink how to do this, but we have Mac Fans Control on the bottom and Cinebench on the top. Um, I do also want to mention again, I do have other apps open. I have like five other ones, and some of them are kind of intensive. <clears throat> Google Chrome. But yeah, this um, it did automatically recognize the processors in Apple M2 Pro. 10 10 core CPU, 16 GPU, or no, that's multi-core. I'm an idiot. And then it do recognize that I am on Mac OS Ventura 0.2. So I don't think I need to put anything. So yeah, um, as you can see on the CPU, oh wait, keep bunch of CPU. I'm an idiot. Okay, um, this is a CPU test. So as you can see, the top rated is an AMD Ryzen Threadripper 2. Those things suck so much power, you're going to be paying like 20 times as much for your electricity bill. Um, but yeah, we have some things up here. I'm surprised they don't have any Apple Silicon things. Uh, that's weird. I do not know. But anyway, I think it's time we start the test. We did. Um... It says it's still running, even though it's at zero. I wonder if it's just gonna finish this uh, pass. But yeah, the fans have stayed pretty quiet. Like, I, you can hear them if you listen, but not that easily. I mean, it's still easily you can hear them, but they're not like in your face, which is very nice. It's nice to not have to do a ton. Apparently it's gonna be in between 9087 and, yep. So we have earned ourselves, or at least this MacBook has earned itself, what the heck, um, an 11350, which is actually pretty good. It's nowhere close to the Threadripper, but like, it, the only things on top are a thread, a 3, 3 gigahertz Threadripper, 2.7 gigahertz Xeon W, and uh, another, and the original Threadripper. And we have our M2 Pro chip, which is very powerful. So yeah, that is our basic benchmarks. But do you know what you can't really benchmark a ton? Is the actual performance. So now let's talk about the performance in-game. What is it like when you're playing a real game in real life? What's the what's that performance like? So yeah, the gaming performance is really, really good. So there are a couple games that I've actually tested it with. First game I want to talk about is a very basic game. It's Roblox. This game is a more intensive one. It's an FPS game, and I'm not that good at it. Um, I did get pretty good FPS. It wasn't that hot. And when I've been playing games, it's, again, the fan speed has never gotten over basically quiet RPM. I don't know what that is. Basically, it's done really well. It does really well, and I can constantly trust it to give me good FPS without sounding like a jet engine. So, now let's go on to the next game. The next game that's probably a little more popular, I guess, is a game that I've been playing off Steam. This game's called Dogfight Elite. So, the whole point of this game is you're in a dogfight, obviously, which, if, for those who don't know, is basically a plane flight. So for this, you have to basically fly around. I'll leave all these games and benchmarking stuff linked in the description if you want to check any of it out, see how this computer compares to your computer, or play some of these games because they look fun, because I've definitely had that happen before. But basically, this game, it's not a hard game to run. It's, it's very light on the CPU, light on pretty much everything. So this game wasn't a massive thing that was holding down my CPU, making it. So the next thing is something you probably have heard of, and this is Asphalt 9. Pretty much everyone and their mom plays Asphalt 9. It is one of the only games that is Mac compatible that is brief. Uh, common, I really hope Forza comes to the Mac. I would have tested Minecraft, but Minecraft is, requires literally nothing. Um, I'm pretty sure I found a video of a guy playing Minecraft on a 2006 MacBook before it was a MacBook. Or it was a MacBook, but it was still a titanium. So yeah, it, it works really well. Um, 
I still suck at all these games, so don't expect me to do well. Um, but yeah, uh, Asphalt 9, I'm okay at driving. But basically, yeah, the game was really smooth, worked really well, and was really fun to play. Along with the games native to Mac OS, I have installed an OS launcher, UTM, and gotten Windows 11 on there so I can play some Windows games, which is really cool. Um, comment down below if you want to see a comprehensive guide on how to do that, because that was actually a pretty painful task. But anyway, um, that's kind of it. My obviously, this title, the title of this video is literally, you do not need the M2 Max. The M2 Max is overkill, unless you are rendering 8K, 60 FPS, massive video, in which case, why are you watching my videos? Or you're doing insane renders and stuff, you do not need it. My M2 Pro base uh, core configuration is very powerful. This thing can handle anything I throw at it, and I highly recommend it. If you have the money and you can use the power, could not recommend it more. I hope you enjoyed this video. Scroll down, smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.